Okay, so here's how I array my classes. So I've got like a few classes up here that represent different weapon types and different arrays of perks that I like. Um, then down here, I have my experimental uh, uh, classes where I put guns that I haven't tried yet. Um, so I can level them up and make them more usable and also just try them out and see if I like them. So I haven't used a Sten yet at all. So I'm definitely gonna suck with it. That probably did nothing. So I think, I'm not sure about this. Ooh, I unlocked attack dogs, sweet. Um, I think that this level might be based on a level from World at War. I'm not sure, because World of War was so long ago. Um, but the shape of this level is very familiar to me. And so, yeah, so I think it might be a World of War level. The World at War level that's been adapted for Vanguard. So World at War was, I think, Treyarch's second. It might be... When you find an AFK person, you got to try to use a, a weapon you don't often get kills with. Um... I think World at War was uh, Treyarch's second outing in Call of Duty. I think they also did like some console, so a console only version, uh, like a big red one. Okay, there we go. Got that person. Called Big Red Enemy One that, that wasn't a mainline Call of Duty, it was like a spin off. It used to be that Call of Duty games. You know, we're PC primarily. We're primarily PC, and then they had console spin-offs, uh, and, and that's what Treyarch did originally. Was was the spin-offs, but then I think World of War was the first mainline. No, no, no. Three, three was the first mainline Call of Duty that Treyarch did, and it didn't do that well. They had, they had not quite nailed the formula yet. But uh, World at War was the one where Treyarch actually did na did nail the formula. Oh, yay, I leveled up this gun. Oh, gosh, that was a friend. Um, and so, yeah, so it was a really good game. I remember really, really liking World at War. And that was it came out right after Modern Warfare, so it was actually the first kind of sequel to Modern Warfare that continued and built upon the, uh, the innovations that that game brought into, like, the entire shooter genre. Oh gosh, lots of people. Hi. Oh, hello. Let's see. Anybody up there? Oh, wait. Is that a good guy or bad? Probably a bad guy. Oh, that guy was... Weird thing about Call of Duty is that like, you kind of... When you're getting into the vibe of this game... Oh, it starts to feel really natural how you move and see. Like, like it's almost like your, your nervous system aligns with what you're doing in the game. And it becomes very natural, except... The, thing you, the one thing you don't have is peripheral vision. And so you get the sense that you know, based on what you can see directly, you get the impression that you know what's around you, but you don't. You don't know what's around you. And so people can frequently be right next to you, and you what's can't even detect I their, their the presence. Control. And it's just really uncanny to get killed by somebody in that position. Okay, so you can mount up here. Nobody comes up this way. Oh, there's somebody upstairs probably going to come around and murder me. Doing pretty well. Ha, nice try. Guy running around with a knife. This is a gunfight. Don't bring a knife to a freaking gunfight. What are you even doing? Allied glide bomber on See, that was another one where it's like, I just didn't, I just basically didn't detect that guy. 
even though he was right there with me. Oh, I forgot that. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying out an explosive I don't often. Oh, cool. I'm trying out an explosive I don't often use, which is one that explodes on contact. So I get really used to the idea that my explosives bounce around, and then I'm basically tossing them into a well and hoping that they sort of knock around and, hit and, and land in a place that does some damage. But the gun that I've got right now... Sorry, I mean, the, the bomb that I've got right now explodes on contact. And so it's a completely different way you have to think about how you're throwing it. Uh-oh. Probably gonna land on me. Nope. Okay, cool. A lot of people out there. Okay, didn't quite hit that person. Now they're waiting for me, so let's go a different way. That's a thing that's really difficult for me to learn. And I often still don't do it, which is, if somebody knows where you are, just do something else. Like, I very frequently get into situations where, you know, I just, I, like, I target an enemy as, like, oh, this is, this is the enemy I'm fighting. And I'll just keep going after them, even if they know exactly where I am and I'm walking into a trap. I feel like they're the only thing in the world to get tunnel vision on that enemy. Um, but it's much smarter... If once an enemy knows where you are and you haven't killed them, just go somewhere else. Do a different thing. Find an enemy who doesn't know where you are. Like that guy. He wasn't, he wasn't ready for me. Oh, gosh. Okay. Guess there's a guy behind me. Um... Quite where I intended for that to go. Oh well. Victory! And I feel like I helped. Yes, 21 to 9. Okay, that was a much better round <laughs> than I usually have. Maybe I will turn this into a YouTube video. Just because I did okay that time. I often have rounds where um, it goes way worse than that. So, we gotta pick our team MVP. Let's watch them all do the exact same animation for like five seconds each. Okay, so multi kills, time near enemies, or kill death ratio. Ooh. Oh, yeah, let's go with the multi kills. Coalition is pointing out that I was not thinking about my kill streaks at all. That's true. I just got very into the moment at that point. All right. I've got about 10 more minutes. How long is a Call of Duty match? I don't even know. Unlocked a bunch of stuff for my Sten, though. Oh, and I've unlocked a special gun for Solange. Well, Solange seems very proud of herself. <laughs> Alright, well I guess I'll turn this into a YouTube video. So, um, I'll put a subscribe button down there. And uh, you can click on some other videos. Stuff like that. I'll play one more round. And I'm probably not going to turn that one into a YouTube video. Unless I do a really good job.